Hello, this is Rich, and uh, today I'm just going to be doing an update on my RTS. It's been a while. That's because I've been very, very busy. I've been helping out a few people, um, and also just working on my RTS uh, stuff, you know, diligently. Um, I got a little bit of an update today. Um, I got a basic uh, build system, uh, which allows me to basically... Uh, pass different types of uh, entities or classes like a uh, house or a um, different types of structures like you would in a game like um, you may have houses or town centers and uh, uh, you know stuff like that I could pass different type of uh, those entities into a, um, a function that will allow me to build them on the map dynamically basically spawning them on the map dynamically uh, so, you know basic build system and that's what I've been working on recently also, I've been working on my HUD. Um, I got that, you know, uh, flash uh, up, up, up and running again. I'm not using the uh, the trial anymore. Um, so I've been working on my HUD um, maybe three, four days ago. So that's just got started back up, and I'm working on the um, the menu. So uh, so far, I've got menus that will pop up and pop down, uh, which, which shows me like different build options of what I want to build, and I also got a, uh, a commands uh, menu that will pop up and uh, so I can see my uh, different commands for units that are selected and buildings that are selected uh, but that's not going to be in this update I, I'm working on it but I didn't it's not implemented in this update here <laughs> it's just the um, build system and I get a little bit of a more smooth uh, going unit selection and movement <laughs> so let me just go ahead and show you what that looks like here Bup, 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 bup. It's going to be a quick, like, five minute deal today. There is something uh, when I got into the dynamic spawning of uh, entities here, um, I did get into a problem where AI does not navigate around these buildings or entities if they're dynamically spawned, which uh, if anybody knows, I'd appreciate the help. Um, if they're replaced in the editor, like these three here, uh, AI will actually uh, navigate around. Like, let me show you. Um, I'll take this guy right here. I'll just go ahead and select him and scroll out a little bit and bring him over here. He's actually going to navigate around just like that. And, you know, just this guy as well. He'll navigate around and yeah <laughs> anyways I'm working on a um, attack system where you left click and right click to attack I've got a functioning except for, uh, <laughs> well, he shoots at the uh, position that I right click on. And uh, it's very erroneous right now. And uh, very, 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 uh, I mean, I couldn't really, it's not going to be in an update um, soon because it needs a lot, a lot of work. But I, I am working on it in the background here. Uh, it froze, as you can see, during the attacking. Um, let me go back in and show you uh, the build system here. I got two type of uh, and uh, two type of um, buildings, structures, and that would be a house, um, which uh, you basically uh, increases your population cap, um, and also um, a town center where you're going to be making your, uh, you know, some standard units from there. Um, so those are two scripted entities that I've made, and uh, I spawn those entities uh, into the world. Uh, the house is obviously my model. Um, and I don't have a town center uh, modeled up, so um, I just uh, put a different uh, built-in CryEngine model for it. But um, let me just go ahead and rotate my camera and move around. And I'll show you the problem I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and push H. I'm just going to tap H on my keyboard here. Oh, I've also integrated, uh, sorry, implemented keyboard um, interaction. 
and it's, it's going to be in the update here too so I'm going to push H and you're going to see that I have a uh, entity here a house uh, actually it's my own scripted entity and I can place this anywhere I want I'm going to place that right here by left clicking and let me just take this guy and I'll show you what I mean if I go on the other side he's not going to navigate Oops. He's not going to navigate around it. He's going to try to go right through it, <laughs> which uh, is impossible here. Um, come out. So let me try this again. If I go on the other side here, he's just going to run right through it. So that's something I need to work on. Um, but I got an H. I'll go to H here. If I press H again, it places one and allows me to place another H, H, H. Uh, this is obviously not how it's going to be implemented by pressing buttons. Uh, maybe a couple hotkeys that I may include, um, but this is just to see if my build system is working right now. Uh, actually, these are going to be working with my buttons in my HUD to spawn these different entities. Um, but right now, I just did it through uh, key presses. Now, if I go ahead and press uh, T for Town Center, I go ahead and I uh, I can spawn a Town Center uh, anywhere, just like that. And these uh, dynamically placed uh, entities classes, they're not. Uh, the AI does not go around them but I figured I'd just show you that and I'm just keep pressing T right now to place these and if I left click I can just commit and I can be freed up with my mouse here um, so if that's not too bad if you look at my frame rate uh, you know around 80 90 and uh, you can get a lot of these in here without even affecting the frame rate it's not too bad at all they're very very basic entities with physics, but I tested. I got like, um, it was like 500 different um, entities here, and it maybe 10 frames per second I lost uh, with that many. So uh, I get an idea that's going to be a pretty massive scale um, RTS game here. CryEngine does a good job at uh, rendering a lot of objects on the screen. AI may be a different story. But um, actually, these objects are fine. Uh, only time I noticed, uh, these are also, they occlude these objects. My entities, they actually occlude other objects to save on uh, memory and polygon count. Um, only time I actually uh, notice a considerable frame rate is when you draw all of these on the screen at the same time. Like when I had like 500 on there, it was fine because obviously... Uh, it's only rendering what you see here, one, two, three, you know. But as soon as I uh, take my, do this, I'm at 80 frames per second, whereas that was 100 frames. So you, you do get quite a bit of um, frame rate loss when you're looking at all of the entities. But it's not too bad, uh, especially when you're going to be doing this most of the time. Thank you guys very much. I just wanted to show you my update on integrating keyboard interaction, also my spawning system to spawn different entities, and I'm also working on my HUD, which maybe you guys will see in a week or so. I'm not sure. Uh, it depends. Uh, keep in mind that um, <laughs> I am making a commercial project, so all these things you see here, uh, you know, my objects and stuff, um, I'm not going to be showing you every single thing that I do because uh, it would ruin the surprise, obviously. Uh, my code is a different story. I don't mind sharing my code and anything like that. That's what these tutorials are about, is basically coding um, and, and making the game. I also go over, you know, in the future, uh, when we get into that phase of modeling different things, the animation, weapon setup, and all that stuff. I'm going to cover it all front to back. But just keep in mind that the content you see here is not representative of, of actual what's going to be there. Um, it would be stupid of me to do so if I'm making a commercial project. Just keep that in mind. All right, then. Thank you guys very much, and I uh, hope you enjoyed.